This episode of Nerdist News is sponsored by Captive State. Does the new Avengers Endgame trailer confirm the Ant-Man time travel theory? It's been a banner week for the House of Ideas with Captain Marvel truly flying higher, further, faster, and passing the half a billion mark at the box office. And now, about a month out from the premiere of what will be its next box office bonanza, Marvel has released a brand new trailer for Avengers Endgame. In addition to dusting up even more hype for the next installment of the Avengers saga, this new Endgame trailer seems to confirm the long gestating time travel theory about how Ant-Man and time vortexes in the quantum realm could play a huge role in the film. Now, before we go any further, we should let you know that we are going to be spoiling Captain Marvel and potentially, if we're right, some of Avengers Endgame as well. So, spoiler warning! Also, be sure to head over to Nerdist.com for the frame-by-frame -frame breakdown of all the nitty-gritty details you may have missed. But let's get into this time travel theory. First off, this trailer really pulls from the 11 year history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe through callbacks to the past in the form of black and white footage from previous Marvel movies. Tony reminisces about his history as Iron Man along with lines from Peggy Carter about starting over. We see shots from Iron Man 1 and 3, Thor 1, the Captain America films, and Infinity War, along with moments from Endgame. So the trailer is definitely focused on showcasing the passage of time, referencing the past, present, and future. Later, Captain America says, I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Again, another reference to time as Cap refuses to move on. All of these subtle and subconscious visual verbal references to time build up to the surviving Avengers vowing to do whatever it takes. Could whatever it takes mean risking it all by jumping into the quantum realm, finding a time vortex, and hopefully stopping Thanos? Well, the very concept of time travel and time vortexes was recently introduced in Ant-Man and the Wasp when Michelle Pfeiffer's Wasp warned Scott Lang to be careful and not get caught in a time vortex while exploring the quantum realm. It's reasonable to assume that this intro was to get audiences prepped for the possibility of time travel in Endgame. Subconscious clues aside, let's look to some harder evidence. We've seen behind the scenes photos from the set of Endgame back when we only knew it as Untitled Avengers film. In those leaked pics, we saw what looked a whole lot like a recreation of the Battle of New York from the first Avengers movie, with Ant-Man added to the mix with the original Avengers. This is where fans first started speculating that time travel was afoot, since Ant-Man obviously wasn't in New York for the Chitauri invasion. Also, in these photos, you can see that some of the Avengers are wearing some sort of wrist device, which we strongly suspect is time travel tech. But don't stop zooming and enhancing yet, because in this new trailer, we actually get our first official look at one of those wrist devices on Hawkeye as he's running away from an explosion. The next big time travel clue is hair! You might remember from the Captain Marvel mid credit scene, Cap still has his beard and Black Widow is rocking her blonde stealth bob. But throughout the course of this new trailer, Natasha goes from blonde bob to shoulder length blonde to long red ponytail with blonde on the ends to fully red again. Now we've heard per Kevin Feige that most of these shots are within the first 15 to 20 minutes of Endgame so if we take him at his word most of this hair time warping happens right at the top of the film. But the biggest piece of evidence for time travel is this shot of Ant-Man. It's a quick shot but he's out on a suburban street and behind him we see a house with overgrown vegetation and very full trash cans. He's reading missing posters that seem to have been out in the elements for a while. This leads us to believe that Scott Lang will make his way out of the quantum realm sometime after Thanos' snap in a world grappling with massive loss. It's not the first time we've seen posters with sentiments like this, if you'll recall this shot from the big game Super Bowl TV spot, where we saw signs at Cap's VA support group meeting that says, where do we go now that they're gone? Finally, another indicator that our time travel theory is tracking is that shot of the surviving Avengers all decked out in their new white suits. We've previously seen these suits in leaked art from toy packages, and now seeing them on screen here, they definitely look like something from PIM Technologies. So where do all these hints, clues, and pieces of evidence leave the possibility of time travel in Avengers Endgame? Well, if we had to pop on our tinfoil hats and make a guess, here's what we think will happen in the film. Ant-Man makes his way 
away out of the quantum realm and finds himself in a very changed world, looking for his family and friends. He'll meet up with the remaining Avengers, and they'll all figure out that he traveled through time via a time vortex in the quantum realm. They'll figure out a plan to use a time vortex to try and stop Thanos before the snap. However, they won't have complete control over the time travel mechanism. The team will be split up throughout disparate time periods in the past and future. We've seen rumors of the medieval-esque superhero Black Knight helping out the team in the quantum realm, as well as word that an older version of Scott Lang's daughter, Cassie, could appear in the film, who in the comics is a member of the Young Avengers as the superhero stature. At the end of the day, we will see how close we are with this theory. All of this is based on toy leaks, behind the scenes photos and trailers. And as we know, none of those have ever, ever lied to us. But what do you folks think? Are you excited to see Endgame? Will you be able to contain your excitement between now and April 26th? If Marvel likes to trick us with fake shots in its trailers, could this all be a big misdirect? And honestly, why haven't we gotten a title for Star Wars Episode Nine? Let's discuss. Thanks again to Captive State for sponsoring today's episode. From the director of Rise of the Planet of the Apes comes Captive State, set in a Chicago neighborhood nearly a decade after an occupation by an extraterrestrial force. Captive State explores the lives on both sides of the conflict, the legislature and the resistance. 10 years later, Gabriel, the catalyst for the resistance, rises as their leader, sparking a fire that ignites the war for the world. Watch Captive State in theaters tomorrow.